you vote for in there? Jim Jordan. And now that Steve Scalise is Speaker-elect, what do you plan to do on the floor? Well, I don't know. We've got to see if it's going to go to the floor. Did somebody tell you it's going to the floor today? I heard potentially three o'clock. Potentially. It'll be interesting. I, uh, uh, Steve Scalise got 113 votes. That is a majority. But how are you going to convince the other 100 and something of a sudden just say, well, now we're all going to vote for Steve Scalise? I think Steve Scalise is a great guy. But he got 51% of the conference. So my point is this. If we're going to take this floor to the vote, or this, this vote to the floor, I hope you try to get everybody together and figure out how you're going to get all the others to say, okay, Steve's the guy. What do you need to hear from Scalise to vote for him on the vote? I'm sorry? What do you need to hear from Scalise? What can you, what can you do to convince him to Listen, vote? Steve Scalise is a great leader. He became the, minor, the whip. He became the, the majority leader. He's been here a long time. I think he's a hell of a nice guy. I think he's very, very effective. And I feel certain he'll do a great job as speaker as well. I, I have nothing against Steve Scalise. I was just more on the, the Jordan side. I'm more of, you know, that Freedom Caucus guy, and, and that's who Donald Trump wanted. What do you um, think that means that Donald Trump endorsed him, Jordan, Jordan did not win? Well, you got some people in the conference that obviously have some issues with Donald Trump, but I would probably say to those in the Republican conference that have problems with Donald Trump, get over yourself, because Donald Trump's the leader of our party. Make no mistake. And we've got issues with the DOJ. We keep talking about this all the time. We got issues with the DOJ, the FBI, the Attorney General is a clown. The, the Mayorkas doesn't care about border security. You want to fix that? You won't even do it with a 50-seat majority in the House of Representatives. You've got to get the White House back. Every decision we make as a conference is in the, should be in the best interest of getting Donald Trump, the leader of our party, who will be our nominee in the White House in 2024. That's it. Is, that is my focus. Is Donald Trump the leader of the party, though? The Donald Trump is the leader of our party because the governor from Florida and everybody else on the stage, give me a break, he's crushing them all. He's crushing them all. Donald Trump, Donald Trump is the leader of our party, the American people, the Republican Party has spoken loud and clear. Now let's do everything to get behind the greatest president in my lifetime, Donald J. Trump. And when we get the White House back in 2024, we can fix the numerous crises that we have in our country. Whether it's the southern border, hell, I don't think Hamas would even be in Israel if we have Donald Trump as our president. Trump picked, though, did not win for Speaker. Hmm? Trump, who Trump endorsed for Speaker, Jim Jordan. I, um, I got it, but uh, he also got 99 votes. Jim Jordan did get 99. That's a significant number. Can House Republicans afford to have a second? Round of uh, speaker I, you know what I wish we would have done? I'm not, hey, listen, I'm the junior woodchuck in the room, right? I wish we would have had a second vote then and say, okay, how many votes now will get behind Steve Scalise for speaker? And we'd have had that number. I wish we would have had that number. We'd have had one more vote and said, okay, Steve's a guy. How many of you will go on the House floor and say, Steve Scalise speaker? We don't know that number. You think that's less than 217? I, <laughs> I think that is very difficult to accomplish. Right now, I think there should have been some more dialogue. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyway. But you say yeah. you're, you're supporting on the floor. we got to see what happens. I don't know. Are we going to the floor today? I think we should have some more dialogue. I just want to make sure that we don't go through what we did in January and, and embarrass ourselves because it was the clown show. It was a clown show. Anyway, we owe it to the American people to do better. Matter of fact, the American people in January saw the destruction this administration was doing, and they gave us the gavel because they're begging for leadership. Well, damn it, let's lead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.